I think we all love crafting with these miniature Christmas trees from Dollar Tree. But have you seen these giant four foot size Christmas trees yet at your Dollar Tree? They're only $5. Hi everyone, my name is Shannon and welcome to my channel, The Daily DIYer. Today I'm gonna show you how to transform these fake trees into fabulous trees. I had to show you just how tall these trees are compared to the smaller ones. Love them. They also have the very same base as the miniature trees do. And I have a feeling these are going to sell pretty quickly. So if you see them and you want them, grab them now so you have them to craft with. I also have a video hacking the smaller trees. Definitely go watch that if you haven't yet after this video because you can use a lot of the projects that I shared in that video with these larger trees too. For this first project, we are going to make a tree look fabulous. You wanna take the bottoms off your trees and you wanna grab some pipe cleaners or some wire. We're going to lay our trees flat on the floor. You want one side flat and the other side is gonna be fluffy. Take those two sides that are flat and put them together. We're basically taking two trees and making them into one giant fluffy tree. You're gonna take your pipe cleaners or your wire and wire both your trees together. I used about six pipe cleaners on my tree and that seemed to do the job. So here's what it's gonna look like after you get them wired together. Of course, we need to do some fluffing here to make sure our tree looks nice and full. So just fluff all those branches out. Now we're gonna make the base of the tree. So this is a galvanized bucket from Dollar Tree. I grabbed that along with some styrofoam and we're gonna fill our bucket with the styrofoam to create a base because obviously our bases are not gonna work with this tree now. Just cut off the corners of your square styrofoam and it definitely helps to use some glue inside your bucket to make sure your styrofoam is not going to move around on you. Now by itself, this bucket probably would topple over on you. So if you have a wider bucket, definitely recommend that. I did not, so we're gonna do another kind of twist to this. I had a larger basket. I think it was on clearance for about $5 at Joann's. So I took that, put the bucket inside there with some bricks to kind of stabilize it. Also add some weight here so our tree doesn't fall over. And we are gonna take our tree and press that down into the styrofoam in the center of the basket. So push it down pretty far until the base of the tree and the branches of the tree are touching your basket or your bucket. Then you can still kind of see inside the basket. So I took some fabric, covered it up, simple, easy fix there. And you can see just those couple extra additions really made this tree look so much better than the one just straight out of the box. So you could leave it like this or we're gonna do another trick here. So these are some branches I found on Amazon. I'll link them down below, but you can use any kind of greenery branches that you already have. You can find them at Walmart, Dollar Tree, craft stores and you just tuck some extra greenery branches in there and it kind of hides some of the holes gives it more texture makes it look more high end this was such a quick and no mess little addition you can see the difference between the before and the after and what a difference those extra greenery picks really do make and of course then you can decorate your tree however you want with ornaments ribbon garland i had these battery powered candles that i think i'm going to be using all over the place this year because i love them so much i'll link them down below too you just put the little clips on the bottom and then you clip them onto the branches of your christmas tree the Dollar Tree branches are a little bit flimsy, so you have to clip it on to two of the branches. And then the candles have a little leveler mechanism on them, so you just kind of wiggle them and bend them until they are straight for you. Here's another idea for you. I wanted a topper for my tree. This is a Dollar Tree hook. It used to be blue. I spray painted it gold and we're gonna use that as the topper, super quick and easy. I just kind of put the hook underneath some of the branches at the top, folded it over and just let the top part kind of poke out. You hid the hook part and I got an instant topper for only $1.25 from Dollar Tree. So fancy. This was so incredibly easy. And I don't think anybody would know that this these were Dollar Tree Christmas trees in there. So affordable and sky's the limit as far as how you want to decorate these. But you really can take affordable trees and make them look so classy and high end. I also had to show you this cool feature to these battery powered candles. They come with a remote control so you can turn them off and on from the comfort of your couch. It also has the feature that you can turn the brightness up and down, the flickering speed up and down. Pretty cool. So I thought I would mention that. I'll link these down below. 
Now we're gonna switch gears and make some outdoor Christmas decor with these Christmas trees. We're gonna twist the bottom plastic piece off. We don't need that. And we're going to make the backside flat, pull all the branches to the front and fluff them. There's also a really long piece at the top of the tree, which is not gonna be the bottom that we don't need. So I trimmed that off, saving it because that comes in handy sometimes for attaching stuff to Christmas trees. So don't throw it away. Go ahead, finish fluffing out your tree and we're going to to make a bow which is gonna go on the top so this is some velvet wired ribbon I found on Amazon I'll link it down below but Dollar Tree does have wired ribbon you can use too and we're going to cut three same lengths of this ribbon making sure we size it to the scale we need for our swag and then we're going to make a circle so you're gonna put your ends of your ribbon together make a circle pull it so that each loop on on your bow is equal on each side. We're going to do that with all three pieces, stacking them one on top of the other so they're even. These are just three really simple basic bow tie bows that we've stacked and then we're going to grab the centers and pinch them all together. It always is handy to have some wire on hand, some zip ties, some ribbon string, whatever you're going to use to tie the center of your bow together. And then we're going to add our tails second. So we're going to take the ribbon and cut two pieces, two different lengths, and then attach this all onto our tree. So again, remember we're doing this at the bottom of the tree, which which is now the top of our tree using that wire to twist the bow on gathering the tails in the center and we're going to wire that on right underneath it use a little bit of extra ribbon and some hot glue to cover up all the wire in the center of our bow making sure it looks nice and cleaned up now we're gonna flip this over to the back side and we're gonna add another length of wire to the inside of our branches. Pull that through, kind of twist it on. That is how we're going to hang our swags. Once you get that wired up, go ahead and head outside and you can add your swags to your porch lights. That's why I wired mine up. But look how big these are. Once they're fluffed and all the ribbon is fluffed and looking pretty, such an inexpensive addition to your front porch or your front door. If you don't have porch lights, you can maybe use some command hooks to hook these onto the sides of your door or even hang it on your front door in place of a wreath. I love that you can make such large decorative pieces for such an affordable price under $20. Plus you get a lot of bang for your buck here. Now we're gonna come back inside and I'm gonna show you how you can use these Christmas trees as a decorative piece for your mantle. If you don't have a mantle, you could do this on a shelf down the center of a table, lots of different places you can actually use these for. We're gonna use two and we're gonna connect the two bottoms in the center so we have the fluffing going on in each direction. So these trees are basically gonna be the base of our garland. We're gonna take some of these battery powered Christmas lights. I found these on Amazon, super inexpensive. And I will link those down below too. We're gonna drape those across the garland, tuck them in so they look nice. And if you like this look, kind of simple, simplistic, you can leave it like this kind of like throw them up there, fluff them, add some lights and you're done. Or you can also embellish with other greenery, florals, picks, whatever you have on hand. A lot of these are just ones that I use year after year. These eucalyptus ones are from Dollar Tree even. Look so pretty in this garland. Just kind of tuck and hide any kind of small holes that you might have. I love these berries. It adds a little pop of red and color. I use these year after year too. I like to not glue in uh, my greenery if I can so that way I can use them year after year and usually the greenery kind of holds them in place good enough that you don't need to add any glue which is what I did here. Look how full and gorgeous and beautiful this greenery is. Again, I don't think anybody would know their Dollar Tree Christmas trees. This project is such a high-end look for not a high-end price. I'm pretty sure these little branches sold for $100 or more at Pottery Barn a couple years ago. So we're gonna make a knockoff of that. We're going to basically step on the tree and bend it so it kind of has a curvature to it. The, the end of the tree was too long, so we're gonna take some pliers, 
crimp it and then break the end off by bending it back and forth cut the greenery off there and that is going to shorten the stem so it doesn't look kind of awkward and a little bit too long so now we're going to take our tree and we are going to fluff it again we want one side to be flat again and the other side to have all the branches and be fluffy now this one has quite a bit of bulk, so even if you wanted to cut out some of the branches to make it look not so fluffy, you could do that too. We're gonna take some nautical rope from Dollar Tree and we're gonna use that for the hanger of this wall hanging. I used some hot glue to kind of help me keep those knots in place so they wouldn't come undone once it was hung up on the wall. So just some basic knots on each end and then cutting the excess off. So here's what we have so far. And at this point, again, you could just hang it on the wall as is, but I I like to add that extra greenery in there. That's what really transforms these and makes them look like they are expensive when they're not. So we're adding those same branches from Amazon. Again, I'll link those below. And also some of those eucalyptus branches that are from Dollar Tree. I love the little bit of glitter that's on those. Kind of gives it a glitzy glam look. Again, I am not using any hot glue here. I'm just using the branches to kind of twist all the greenery in there so it stays. So if I want to take this apart and use it again next year, I have that option. And look how high end this looks. It has such a modern kind of simplistic, minimalist Christmas type look and feel to it. I love this. It's kind of a unique Christmas decorative wall piece. I love it with our Christmas photo from last year. Now I have to show you what happened. So remember this last project when I stepped on it? Yeah, I kind of stepped on this tree a little bit too much right here. <laughs> and I broke, totally broke the branch. You can see here, it just totally came apart. And I didn't want to waste this tree. Obviously $5 is cheap, but still, we don't want to just throw it away. So what I did is I took the top end and I started stepping on it some more so I could give it even more of a curvature. Do you know what we're making here? Do you have any ideas? If you know me, you know I am a huge Grinch fan. We decorated the whole inside and outside of the house last year in Grinch, and I've always wanted one of these Whoville trees. And guess what? Sometimes accidents are happy accidents. So what I did is I took that broken piece, attached it to the top of a regular Christmas tree, used some wire, used the branches, and tied it on there. So look how cute this is already. But you know, I have all kinds of Grinchy decorations. We are going to really decorate this up. If you wanna see the Grinch video from last year, I will link that at the end of this video too. Check that one out too, it is so fun. Brian dresses up as the Grinch, he sure does. So I took some of my Christmas decorations from last year and used them on this miniature Christmas tree. Just adding one thing at a time, using the larger items first. That is my trick to decorating Christmas trees, go big first, and then adding in the smaller filler pieces. There are so many Grinch movies. You'll have to let me know which one is your favorite down in the comments below. Mine is just the regular classic one, the one I grew up on, the cartoon version, and I just love it so much. I don't know why, it's just part of my childhood. So we went Grinch crazy last year, and it, so it kind of is fun to bring back some of that Grinchy funness this year again. I'm sure you're gonna ask where a lot of these accessories are from, and I will say that the majority of them are from Hobby Lobby. My little Grinch guy right there, that is from my childhood though, so I'm not sure if you can get those anymore. But it's fun to kind of piece all these elements together with the ornaments and the snowflakes and the lollipops, and of course we had to have the book sitting next to the tree too. I definitely recommend heading over and watching the mini Christmas tree hacks video next so you can see other projects you can use with these larger Christmas trees. I also have the Grinch video popping up on your screen. Click over, watch one of those next. I wanna thank you all so much for watching today and I will see you in the next one. Have a creative day.